continuing our Talisman Tactica review in this vlog, looking at the character, the Cat Burglar. Now, this is a character that I enjoy playing. If I get to pull this character in a random draw, there's a couple of very, very interesting strategies that we're going to use. And just on a side note, I've been pushing up some Talisman Tactica to the playlist here on the channel. Drawing characters, there's a lot of ways to do it. Now, ideally, when I play Talisman, we go all in. We got all expansions, small expansions, all the corner expansions. We've got the Ratway. We've got everything. Literally everything is in play. What this means is your deck of character cards is a massive, massive stack. The Cat Burglar is in there. I might draw her first card. I might not. I'm probably not. So the rules as written are you draw a character randomly and that's what you get. I also realized that um, Talisman is a game that's going to take a while and you want to build up your character. So we have a house rule where if everything's in play, you secretly draw three characters. We shuffle up the character deck. You draw three, I draw three, you draw three, they draw three. You look at your three characters. Now you at least have three that you could potentially pull from. They all could be three that you don't want to play, but there's a chance you'll get something that you like or something you can work with. You select the one you want. Then we count down three, two, one, reveal. That's what you play. We take all up the characters that were not selected, shuffle them back into the deck, shuffle, shuffle the deck up. Now if you die, then once you die, then you randomly pull a character. We go back to rules as written. So we, we just kind of have that little framework. So within that, the cat burglar tends to come up more often. So the power of this character is the ability to change the order of the cards based on the space that you land on. This is huge because in Talisman, what I'm trying to do is acquire gear as fast as possible and as best as possible. Talisman being a game where we have turns going to the crown of command Every turn, if you miss an item, if you miss a turn, if you don't accomplish what it is in that moment with the space you land on, that adds up in a negative way. It puts you behind the other players. They start to pull ahead. Then you've got to make other decisions. You've got to see what happens. So often what you'll see is if you land on a space with two cards, you draw them out, they have numbers on it. I might draw an interesting piece of gear or a follower where I'm like, yes, this is, this is good but I also draw a monster or an encounter. I have to fight that monster first. If I lose or it's a standoff, then that's it. I don't get to encounter that other card. Cat Burglar lets you encounter them however you want. That is huge, especially if I have a way to evade or not even to fight in the first place. So within that, my strategy is I'm going to float around on spaces that draw multiple cards. Now, I don't think I'll go into the dungeon to do that, but the ruins, the core board, um, certain places in the highlands, exploring that, and, and just try to farm multiple cards. So even though I have to fight, if I draw it, I can at least pick up those things before I fight. I'll also want to try and get some items again that I can evade and, and not have to fight. So that power alone, that power alone um, really helps you optimize your turns in terms of allies, objects, and weapons and things that you're going to um, obtain in the game. That gives the Cat Burglar um, this advantage of being optimized where it, it tends to level up faster. Because again, if I can get gear, that increases my strength, that increases my craft. There might be some potions that I can drink and auto-level my stats. There'll be some followers that'll give me some abilities. There'll be some magic objects and trinkets that, um, like the Lucky Charm, that may influence some dice. It, it helps accelerate those turns. So I find that the Cat Burglar played correctly lets me go from the um, start of Talisman, the beginning game, to mid game, to end game, much quicker. That gives me more options and more choices to make as we move through the game. Like, when am I going to make my run for the Crown of Command? versus you're in a good place, I'm a little bit behind, you're making the run for the crown of command, I'm not quite ready yet. You know, I'd like to just boost my stats a little bit more. I'd like to heal up to full life and, and be ready, especially if it's a hidden ending. 
I'm not quite ready yet, but but I have to make the run now. I, I have to because you're making the run. You're going to make it or I'm going to make it. Those times where you're positioned to where you're not – you don't want to make the run, but you have to. I find the cat burglar over a number of turns puts me in a place where if I find – I'm ready to make the run sooner, but if I'm in that place, I'm in a better place than not. So I do enjoy playing this character. If I pulled the cat burglar in my three draw cards, um, unless it was like an auto include like the prophetess or something like that, yeah, but if it's other characters or maybe the spy for the lulls, I would definitely, definitely be happy playing her. 